Despite Fortnite being the most popular game in the world right now, it's it's got its fair share of problems. Let's be, let's be real. Even though it's a really fun game to play, there's just some glitches that are just so annoying to play against. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the five most annoying things that have came into the game through patches. Now, this can be through glitches, through just regular patches that Fortnite or Epic Games decided to put in the game. Something that's been implemented into the game by accident or on purpose. Anything annoying, really. So let's get it started. So the reasoning behind this video is that... Uh, I've been really laggy. My game just been glitching. I don't know what's going on. It's just really unplayable right now for me, at least. I want to have a good time playing the game. I want to enjoy the game again. Similar to how I did like a few seasons ago and a few weeks ago when the game was actually good when Blitz came out. Like there's no lag issues for me, at least. And now it just, it just feels completely different. This is a completely different game. Before I start this list, I just want to say that uh, I am doing this as a live commentary type of video. I am doing this live as I'm playing, so that's why you're gonna hear some noise as I'm playing. I thought it would be more fun that way and show you guys how annoying my game is right now. But anyway, let's get right into it. So the first thing on this list is gonna be every building glitch that's been in the game throughout the start, just any building glitch in general. I thought it wouldn't be fair to just include specific ones. Just because there's so many, like I said. There's been so many building glitches throughout the game where I can't include specific building glitches itself just because there's like i said there's way too many now there's been a lot uh okay as you wait bear with me i'm lagging a little bit that's so why you get to trying to shoot me you fool but anyway uh like i said building glitches so there's been so many building glitches uh i've seen a few where uh like when you're building it builds like different material i've had that happened a long time ago in season two well let me kill this guy first <laughs> Man, I love killing noobs. Anyway, as I was saying, there's been so many building glitches where they were just like delayed, the building doesn't place. There's there's been there's too many to name. And I don't even know which one's the most annoying. If you played Fortnite before season three, like you know what I'm talking about. All the building issues where you can't place around you, you can't build it fast enough. All these glitches and problems with building. Sometimes I get shot through walls, sometimes my building isn't even placed. Unless I go through walls, it's just really annoying. Anyway, the next thing on this list is going to be floating weapons. And if you don't remember this, then I don't know what to say. This happened a while back. If you would switch weapons really fast, then your weapon would get stuck. And basic... Oh, shooting. I'm scared. But like I said, if you would build too fast, then your weapon would sometimes get stuck. And basically, it would just mess up your game completely. You have to like press like a certain button for it to actually work. Oh, this guy's right here. Oh shit, move! You dumb gay- How'd he hit me for that? Anyway, uh, so floating weapons, like I was trying to save for the past, like, three minutes. It gets stuck once you switch really fast. Or when you switch in general, from your pickaxe to your building, etc. And your gun will just float in the place. I don't have footage of it. I don't have footage of any of these right now. I'm gonna have to look back if I do, but... Honestly, not right now. I'm trying to make this a live commentary. Your gun will just get stuck and be useless unless you like hold circle or press triangle. I forgot what you had to do for it exactly, but it was just a really dumb bug that got me killed so many times. Your same thing goes for having your blueprints out and shooting. That's technically a building glitch, which I forgot to mention, but it's honestly similar just because you have your you don't you can't use your gun basically. That's the main issue. And if you can't use your gun, how are you supposed to kill people? You know, it was really weird. You have to like fix it every time, reset the glitch, and then it happened like every like time you'd switch really fast, especially for good players. Good thing they actually fixed that. I would not be playing this game right now if that was still in the game. Good thing Epic Games are such good devs and they actually fix stuff. Maybe not recently. All these building issues I'm having. I'm also having issues editing stuff, so hopefully they fix that as well. Gotta mention that for building. But you know, that's that's already long gone. Oh god. Of course! This guy thinks he's gonna 1v1 me. He's dead. <laughs> he did die. Oh god, don't shoot me guys, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't wanna continue this video anymore. And that's another issue I was about just about to mention. The lag issues when you die and just basically game freezing and lag itself, okay? Back in the day, uh it used to be like really laggy. When you spawn into an area mainly tilted. Uh, you would just like freeze for the few few minutes and basically you would just teleport or lag and you couldn't do anything for that few moments and someone could easily kill you if they weren't lagging and this just caused so much issues just because like the first few moments of the game are so crucial 
Because you need to get a weapon if you're going to like named areas and big areas, so you don't die. Because if you do, if you, if that does happen, then you will most likely die if someone's beside you. Because they'll pick up the gun while you're just frozen in place, and they, you can't do anything. You're basically defenseless. And this also goes for lagging. Like you see, I'm teleporting right now. And when you die, it freezes a lot. It's still happening to this day. I don't know why that's not fixed. Maybe it's because all the players like playing the game right now. It needs to be fixed ASAP. Anyway, the fourth uh, annoying thing that I'm going to put on this video is the weapon swap delay. I was going to mention this earlier for building, but I figured that this is not necessarily building itself. This is just weapon delay. Weapon delay for building is still a thing. Basically, when you try to build something and you take out your gun, and the time it takes to switch to your gun is longer now. I'm going to show you in a second right here. It's just so annoying. Why is it longer in the game? And of course, I get it. I got no land beyond from destiny. Okay, it doesn't really work for this weapon, so hopefully I get a pump. It's really annoying for the pump because it takes the longest for that to switch. You would build something like this and you switch back. Oh wait, I gotta get my gun out. Oh my god. It's longer than it used to be, okay? Back in the day, it was really short, it was fast, it was easy to play. Now this just creates less of a skill gap. And they've made a lot of uh, weapon changes itself just because of like double pumping and double using anything. The only thing that was really kind of messed up was double pumping back in the day. I don't understand why they made these changes to like something like a sniper because sniping has a skill get level to it. It's not like it's easy to snipe or it's not like it's... it's I feel like sniping in this game is really good and it's really balanced. For some reason Epic Games decided to, uh, you know, increase the time for switching and reloading stuff. Like a lot of people are complaining about it on Twitter and yeah, it, I'm not the only one complaining about this clearly. Honestly, the only people with benefits is the less skillful players. But, uh, this guy's a really bad player, but he's a shotgun out. Give me your pump, please, so I can show this off. Thank you. And you can, your friend can kill me if he wants. I don't really care. Well, basically, here it is. Look, it's, it, usually, it was, like, instant. Before, it was instant, but now it just, it just takes time for no reason. Like, this shouldn't be a thing. I'm killing these guys. I don't even care. Oh, my God, of course. I had to. <laughs> Yo, I'm a douchebag. <laughs> Why is he in my base? That's what I understand, dude. And there's the lag again. Of course, your full shield default skins. Uh, how does he have four kills? I don't really understand. But as I was saying, weapon swap is just so bad. It, it just lowers the skill gap. There's nothing good about it. And when a game has a lower skill gap, then it's not... A good thing most of the time don't make the same mistake destiny did make everything easier for noobs and lower the skill gap so there basically is none to race like everything that's fun about the game everything that's challenging about the game it's honestly really easy it's just that right now they're making it easier for noobs which makes it technically harder for the skillful players but it's not really hard still it's that engagement are not less rewarding for skillful players like if this keeps up then it's going to be hard for fortnite to get into esports even though this game is definitely meant for esports and there's so much potential it's not east i don't think there's any esports yet but i know there's tournaments finally the last thing i want to mention on this list which is probably the most annoying thing that's happened to fortnite oh my god you got the ar just because take out the ar where'd he go Oh my god, am I just that lagging badly? You know what? I'm not gonna name the last thing yet. Just because I want to show it to you guys. But you guys already know what this is. You guys probably seen it before. Shotgun inconsistency. This is the most annoying thing and most controversial thing in Fortnite related to shotguns and just weapon patches itself. But like before, no one really noticed shotguns being inconsistent. Uh, like they always do like a certain specific number of damage. And yeah, they were just fine. But back in season three, it wasn't the patch notes or anything, but Basically what they did, even the shotguns do like an insanely low number of damage. Well, even when you get a direct hit or a crit shot, you see numbers like 20s, you see numbers like 22, 9, sometimes 8, 6. I've hit some 6s before, which are really annoying. I would lose really dumb engagements just because my shotgun did 7 damage. All the enemy team just one shot me with a pump. I had a clip, I put it on Twitter I think, hopefully I can post it here, I'm not sure if I can find it. But Basically, I was playing on PC servers with one of my friends on PS4 and I shotgunned him with the highest level of pump and he had a lower version of the pump and I hit him for three damage okay from like a pretty far distance like imagine like the distance right here you see I'm gonna show you okay good thing I got a pump right away that's gonna make sense that's gonna demonstrate it I was like where the bus area is let me let me go to it right now 
Got to kill this guy. So this guy was right here, and I was behind that bus, and he hit me for like 197. I had like three health left, and I hit him for three damage. Oh, of course. And there that goes that. To be real, like you, you still died. It just that it's. What in the world is going on here? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I actually got shot down by this guy. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, shotgun consistency is so dumb. Like, it, I would hit someone directly in the head, it would do like 20 damage. A crit number. How does a crit do 20 damage? People are saying like, if only one pellet hit, or you basically missed your shot if it does 7 damage. But if I missed my shot, then don't give me any damage at all. And technically, I did hit my shot. If one pellet of a shotgun hits you, look. If one of these pellets hit me, which they did, I would still do- it will still get hit by a lot of damage. It's not like, oh yeah, he hit you with one pellet, you missed your shot, yeah, you're- You're not gonna kill him. If- if he were to shoot me, look, I would die. Especially from that close. Should have been fixed a long time ago, but Fortnite's not addressing it, I don't know why. And the community's really controversial about it, people are saying that you missed your shot. People are saying that I clearly hit the guy. But shotguns are in fact still broken. It's happening a lot less now because I'm actually hitting my, my shots. I'm actually hitting him directly in the head. I'm not missing. He just gets you killed when it does seven damage. In one of my last videos, I hit a guy five times and all of my shots did less than 26 damage. Like max I hit was 26. And if I actually landed a 90, I would have won the engagement. So it's not really fear for it to actually do like random numbers because RNG just, RNG doesn't belong in the game. Let's be real. It, it shouldn't belong. Give me your gun. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> these guys tried to swing. I'm not gonna kill this guy. I'm not a scrub. I'm not gonna BM. Hey, move! I'm, I'm, I will kill you. I, I will kill you. Get away from me, you PlayStation scrub. I will kill you, dude. You want that slurp? You want that slurp? You can drink it. You can. Stop following me, man. That's creepy. You have the slurp. Just stay away from me. Stay away from me. Try to, stop trying to corner trap. I will. I will shoot you. I will shoot you. Okay. Get away from me. Where are your teammates, huh? Anyway, that's the video, guys. I forgot most of the issues itself, the glitches, bugs, annoying patches they've brought in. But let me know if uh, you remember any of them, because I certainly don't remember any other ones. Especially ones that are worse than these. So if you do, make sure to comment down below. Make sure to drop a like on the video to show the support to the channel. And yeah, that's it guys. Catch you guys next time. Peace.